Today I'm throwing things back to a video that I did a few years ago. A few years back, I published a video, everything you needed to know about your snowmobile track. Now I covered length, width, lug, and pitch. But I feel like a lot of people are still getting confused when it comes to track pitch. So today, being the guy I am, I've got a whole bunch of snowmobile tracks, drivers, and I'm going to explain exactly what track pitch is. So behind me on my deck here, I got a three pitch track and a question mark. So I'm going to do right now is tell you how you figure out your pitch of your track if uh, you don't have the spec sheet. Or if it's track you pick up, you just want to make sure it's the right size. Or if, even if it's the length, the track pitch can help you determine length. So I'm going to show you how to do all that. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a track that we know and love, which is our Power Claw 2.6. We know this is a three pitch track, but we're going to use this, we're going to verify it, and we're going to get the length out of this track. This is track pitch here. These are basically pitches. They're driver windows, but they are basically the pitch. I'm going to try to find the most level spot to do this. Um, and you can even see these uh, two little driver cogs, and that, that'll be an easy way to do it. So now I'm just going to take this, and I can see that those line up at the center of the window. So we'll go center to center on those. We have 2.98, so that's a three pitch track. You can also do it on the inner driver mode. We go center to center. That's exactly. There you go. That's pretty much exactly three inches right there. Let's have a look at our unknown one. Let's find out what exactly is going on with it. It's a little beat up, it's a little rusty, but it's still a good track. So we're gonna do that again. We are zeroed, and I'm just going to measure in the flattest spot, the center of one driver lug to the center of another. So again on this one, three pitch track. So this is also a three pitch track, and most of what I work on is Articad. So of course, it's going to be a three pitch track too. There's rub marks in the middle of it, but you know what? For one of my projects, it's still going to be a good track. I've also got a set of three pitch drivers here. This is a whole axle out of an M8, an M8000. So I'm going to show you that uh, you need to have the same pitch of drivers to be compatible with your track. So we'll measure the pitch on these drivers as well, just to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. These need to be three pitch drivers for your three pitch track. I actually measured the distance on the inner driver wheel. Center to center right there. And here we go, what's our reading? Look at that, three inches. Three pitch drivers for our three pitch tracks. I've got this set of drivers, an old set uh, that I had on the Phaser, a 2.52 set and this three pitch set. And I'm gonna actually stick them in the driver lugs of the track so you can see exactly what's going on in there. Now you may say, Matt, those uh, those drivers look a little bit different from each other. I'm gonna go over introvert and extrovert drivers in a different video and why these are the old style. Um, you know, sleds still uh, sleds still use them. They're still put on new. These are the new advanced style, let's say. I'll go over that in a different video. Three pitch drivers sure work well in that three pitch track. You know, each lug is where it's supposed to be when it meets the track. Because people don't really get to see their drivers that often, and keep in mind some of these teeth are bent because these drivers are damaged, you can see that these driver teeth line up exactly where they need to in the clip windows of the track. Let's just see what happens when we have the wrong driver in our three pinch track. I've got this 2.52 pitch driver and we're gonna stick it in and we're just gonna see how well the holes line up with each other. So you can see it here driver sits like that in the track to drive it and right away now that's already not gonna work so the drivers are going to miss and you can see every once in a while they'll line up but if you had this track in um, basically the drive position would be back against one of the lugs it's already not going to be working what would happen if you did that well if you did actually put this 2.52 pitch driver in with these three pitch tracks it would ratchet like there's no tomorrow and it just would not work if you end up with a track that you're not sure the length of if you can determine your track pitch you can determine the length of that track also so i'm going to show you how to do that real quick 
but this is a three pitch track. All I have to do is count the amount of driver windows. You can also do the uh, clip bars, but uh, all I'm gonna do is count the driver windows because there is not a clip on every single one. There's a clip every other one. So I'm gonna count the amount of windows that this track has. And by doing that, I'll be able to multiply it by the pitch and I'll be able to determine the length of this track, which I already know is a 153, but we're gonna do it anyway. And then we'll do it with our question mark. What I did was I just marked it here so I remember where I started. I went around and I counted every single one of these clip windows and I got a total of 54 windows. Now if I timed that by the track pitch, this is actually a 162 track, which I didn't know. I thought this was a 153 track. That is good news for me because I have a 162. Not bad to have an extra track. Let's count the windows on our question mark track. 51, 52, 53, 54. 54 pitch track, 54 pitches on it, times that by a three pitch, 162. So this is also a 162 track. So these tracks are one and the same. The power claw is a whole bunch better of a track and we all know that. A track is a track, you got the old unit. Yeah, you know, this thing I'm gonna keep around just in case, uh, yeah, you know, you never know. Maybe Ben will do something stupid. Hopefully this video to you was helpful in explaining exactly what track pitch is and exactly why it's important to you when you're changing out tracks. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more videos, uh, hit that like button, hit the bell button, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, basically everything you can do. Give me everything. If you have any more questions about this, make sure to hit me up, leave a comment down below, and I will answer that question for you. I'm actually going to be doing a whole video on uh, drivers specifically very soon um, because there's lots of different kinds of these too. Thanks everybody for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button down below. I'll see you in the next one. That was awesome. You almost had her. Thank <laughs> you.